opening day of the Arkansas turkey season. It feels more like the opening day of duck season. We had a nasty, nasty front blow in last night. Created a lot of strong winds. And cold air was behind it. The birds aren't really talking this morning. We heard one gobble early. Me and Bryson, he's a few ridges over from me. Um, he went after it. I don't really know what happened. Uh, I think the storm last night's got the cell towers down or something. Because we have no service. We have no way to communicate with each other. I heard a bird gobble. Went over there towards the area where I was going to head in at. But a bird pitches off and flies straight above me. And I look up and it's just straight over me fluttering. And then it finally heads off a direction and I can see a long beard hanging down. So, not exactly how you want to start the day on a really windy day like this when that's about the only thing you had to go off of. Nathan and I both heard it and it seemed like it was way in there, but it was right where I parked. So, you can't hear anything. The phones won't work. I can't text Nate, can't call, can't look at the topo maps, nothing. I found my hunting partner out here in the mountains. We don't have no cell phone signal, so we're just going to hunt together. So we don't have to worry about what the heck's going on. I don't feel like there's a lot of people out here today. What? I don't feel like there's a lot of people out here today. Yeah, I don't either. You got your call in? It was another bird. It's probably him though. It's right in line with the last one, but way further that way. Which way? Which way? Can you see me? Right down there. You want me to do some cutting? I know it. Listen, listen real good, okay? Just climb Mount Everest's grandpa. Coming after a gobble that I heard two weeks ago. Solid rock on the way up. A little bit of scratch here and there. Uh, several heart arrhythmias later. We're there. We up here at about a thousand feet above sea level. Well, that's not a lot for some of you mountain country guys, but for us Arkansas boys, that's up there. Air's a little thicker down here. Give us something. We're going we gonna to call them in, though, and kill them. Here in just a minute. 
every other tree has been struck by lightning. We're so high. We just climbed another mountain. We were fixing to head home. It's late in the day. It's six o'clock, but we're gonna set up one more time. We were on a mountain down in the draw and over on the next mountain way off. I just hooted out before we were leaving and a bird gobbled at it. And we were able to tell like right where he was. It took us about 45 minutes to get over here and get set up, but it's late enough in the day. I don't feel like he's gonna wander too far. So we're gonna try one more setup before we pack it up and head home. We're hoping he moves down this way to the calling. to shoot. He might get over there and I can't shoot or something. Let's be ready. I think he's coming fast. Be real still. He's down in there. <coughs> right? That was there. <coughs> down to your left real good. Everywhere. He might come up just like we did. He's coming. He's coming.
Got him. He's dead. Hey. He's right there. I could hear him plain as day walking. <laughs> I can't believe we made it happen today. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> Oh. oh, I could tell. I could tell by your body language. Like, oh, he's teasing. And then when you call it, he's popping him. And then boom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Arkansas public ground bird. Looks big. Either one of us, I mean, that was just one of them things that I turned around and I said, I hear him walking. And he's close. I knew when I heard him walking, I knew it was about to happen. This is him. Oh, yeah. He came. That's he, why I quit gobbling. He came. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this terrain, though. Like, we've been hiking mountains today. That's steep. Oh my gosh. Evening time bird. What time is it? Uh, oh, he's a hammer. Oh, you know it. These birds over here are big, dude. Tough to kill, too. Because of where There's they're at. There's nothing like watching them face come through the woods. I know it. Dude, you heard a drumming right there at the end, mm -hmm. right? I'm Stop. still trying to gather that we just called the bird from that mountain range you can see through there he came across because he was gobbling at every call and then he didn't and we were like huh i guess he's done we started over there this evening as our last setup and we heard a bird gobble way across the bottom <laughs> over here at 800. we were just playing around fixing to go home and I let out a hoot out the last minute and where we're at right now, a bird gobbled over here. So we took off over here, got in position. We need to be getting out of here. We got work tomorrow. And we're like literally fixing to stand up. We've been calling like crazy, fixing to leave and we're cutting and calling and a bird gobbles back where we were. And this bird had to have flown over here. I yeah, mean, it, there's he no did. way he covered that ground. He was gobbling and gobbling, gobbling the same spot and then all of a sudden he quit gobbling. And then all of a sudden he gobbled and he was right in our... What's crazy is... Look at how beautiful that is. Did he go across? Huh? <laughs> Come back. I know. We, we, <clears throat> we don't know that he flew that, but I feel like it's a 90% chance. Because he got quiet. And once he got quiet, one gobbled in the bottom. Well, howdy. Get down there and hold him up. Look at the hooks. I mean, everything. Oh, man, what the heck, dude? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? This dude's a stud. He got a rope. These beards, these birds out here. On, Is he double bearded? I don't think. They kind of split. No, I don't see one. There he is. We've been on, after him all day, terrible weather, and we got to work tomorrow, but like the weather finally got good at like three o'clock and we couldn't make ourselves leave. It was just birds were starting to get fired up and I can't believe we're doing this right now, dude. This is insane after today. Is he on is the kill on this camera? I mean it's pointed up here. Ready to shoot. I honestly thought he was gonna come from down there. And I thought I was gonna let you shoot if he did that, because I was gonna have to move too much. And he stopped in this open spot. And like looked and looked and looked and I thought he might have us and I was thinking about maybe having to force a shot But then he went to strut and that's the only time I heard him drum. He knew he was getting close to us. So he started strutting I'm not sure he strutted until he got right here I I'm just still trying to take it all in I, I, had, I had to shoot. I mean 20 You got a rangefinder? That's yeah 25 30 yards that was fun right there. That turned off like 